When I read to my kids, genuinely, I do try and put the voices on and they seem to like it. They enjoy it when I put a little voice on. The hero's Archie, but um, Nigel the squirrel is quite nervous, hiding his nuts. Dear Santa, it's, it's, it's Nigel the squirrel. I'd really like an acorn for Christmas. Wait, no, not an acorn. And then there was a badger. I went for a little bit more cockney on the badger's uh, voice. I'm a badger. He's <laughs> <laughs> my favourite character, yeah. Those crows just pecked holes in me vegetables. And without me vegetables, I won't make it through the winter. I enjoyed doing the voices and hopefully I've done them justice. For the course of my whole football career, I've been playing 20 years since I was 16. Every day, I've never really had a Christmas. Gen genuinely, um, Christmas is our busiest time. We train on Christmas Day, play Boxing Day. We usually play the 28th, we play the 1st. So many games over that period. It'd be nice to, to spend it with, uh, with the kids and the family, not have to shoot off to a match or think about where I have to be. We always have Christmas pyjamas at, at, uh, at Christmas, and on Christmas Day is the first one we open, is the pyjamas. It's a ritual that we all have to put them on. Mine are regularly too, too short, don't fit. The kids laugh, and then we crack on with our day. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it wrong a few times. I remember when she was pregnant once, I got a maroon baby bag, which I thought was a lovely gesture, but, um, yeah, that didn't go down too well. <laughs> it was a lovely afternoon on Christmas Eve, and Archie the reindeer was playing football all by himself. He's gone to sleep. <laughs> remember I used to play for England, Willow? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>